Okay, I'm going to do a summer steelhead wet fly with a flash wing in purple. A little hint of pink. Got an Alec Jackson steelhead iron size 5. Vivas 10 knot thread in black. We're going to bring our thread body to the barb of the hook. Where we're going to tie in some small flat tinsel. One side silver, one side's gold. We want the gold side facing us because we want to make our tag silver. We're going to make a long tag. It's going to end up being coming up to about here on our maybe a little forward. I don't want a super long dubbing body. I'm going to have my tag come tag or butt, whatever you want to call it, come up fairly long on, on here. Getting just part of the bend in there and then working our way up. If you have trouble with tinsel like this, um, it can be a good idea to lay down a little bit of contact cement or zap a gap, whatever. In case you slip and let go of this, then it will keep it from mo mostly unraveling. Anyway, so we're going pretty long. That may have been uh, 15 wraps or 12 wraps. I wasn't counting. I want to take and tie a bit of this up, keeping the body kind of consistent before I trim that out. It's pretty good. Get rid of that guy there. So we can tie in our ribbing material now, which will be some small silver oval tinsel. Bring that back to there. And then we're going to have a little bit of a, a tail on here, not a tail. Um, yeah, I guess like a tail. We've got four strands of pink glow bright uh, floss. I'm going to just tie that in with a tail basically as long as that butt section, the tinsel butt section. Doesn't have to be too long. And we'll wrap some of that up the body. Trying to keep it on top. All this will be covered by dubbing. Oops. So this is getting a little dull. Make sure that's tied in well. And then you can take the blade or scissors without stabbing yourself and kind of fray that thread pieces out so it's not four individual strands. And kind of unravel it a little bit so that it becomes, there we go, a little more beat up. There you go. Could probably even trim that out just shorter. Just a nice little hot spot in there, sorta. Of. Okay, now our dubbing. Go to a purple dubbing. I'm using a seal fur, a legally obtained seal fur that I've had for many years. And I prefer seal fur for my seal head wet flies. 
my hair wings or like this would be a, a I guess I call it a flash wing but it is the superior material I stub works just as well STS tri is pretty good whatever you want there I'm using this so now we're gonna dub a body with our seal fur or ice dub, I'll say. Working in small amounts just to kind of keep it consistent and even. Stuff's really spiky and translucent. And less can be more if you're using the seal fur anyway. Less can be more. Just trying to basically just cover the thread here with a hair of bulk over it. But it's gonna probably be one more wrap and that'll do it. Secure that in. And I'm going to counter rib with my tinsel or with my, yeah, my oval tinsel. Three, four, and out on five. Really secure that in. Okay, next I have a pre-groomed piece of, uh, it's um, saddle, dyed purple, hen saddle. I'm going to tie it in by the tip, right on top. I'm going to pull that tip back, really secure it in, and then try and cut it out of there without hurting everything else. And now gently we're going to coax the fibers of the feather back without popping that thing out. And we're going to make our hack one here. We're kind of folding back and unmarrying the webby fibers of this kind of feather. Get that out of the way. We don't need too many turns here. One or two solid full turns ought to do you with this feather. Call that good right in there. Trim out the excess. Secure all that down. Kind of start working up ahead. Okay, now we're ready to tie in our wing. Now here you could make this a hair wing and do some squirrel or calf tail or something over the top of that. Um, black bear. Certain long dubbings can make, long fiber dubbings can make a great wing. Um, we're going to take probably about... I don't know, it might be six or eight strands of, this is a smoke colored crystal flash. I don't need it to be too prominent, but I want 
maybe double that over so that we have maybe like 10 fibers in there. Just doubled it over and now I've cut it, I'm kind of blending it up. And I don't care if it's uneven, even when I'm doing my actual hair wings, I'm not really concerned with any of that uh, being stacked or anything like that. We're going to tie these in right on top. And we kind of want to take our thumbnail and spread some of them out a little bit. Enveloping the top. You don't want it just to be a... There we go. You don't want it to be too crazy stiff in one spot. So that it's kind of spread out over the top. Get a couple of good secure wraps down. And now we can trim out our excess. Don't pull too hard on that yet. Trim it out as close as you can. And we're going to secure that all down. And form our head. Okay, a couple sets of whip finishes. And we're done, you could add your head cement UV goo, whatever you want there. And now you've got a very, very productive summer steelhead wet pattern. Come on, be picture perfect. There you go. And there you go, summer steelhead wet pattern with a flash wing.